Hey guys, um, I'm at the, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm inside the place, so, I, I promise that, um, we're making a separate video, this is basically the rest of the, um, this is like a, oh, oh, a big pin. Graduating to all the 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 four forty two and hundred uh, regional combat team for for all this stuff. So you can see that all of them were listed, but unfortunately the shadows are kind of affect. The lighting are affecting the name, so you won't be able to see that much. But, oh, anyways, that's not what I'm looking for. I mean, I mean for something, some weird art like this. So, yeah. So, by the time I found out about it, it's like, oh yeah, the, the, this place held more art than the one at the J-Town, so I did check so I did so um, this is technically round two because um, one they don't have a whole setup so this fellow right here um, he passed away by the time I think uh, 2001 oh my god I think he passed away because uh, uh, like health reasons, yeah, usual stuff. You when you're that old, you're almost in close to eighty, around eighty, mid eighties. Yeah, that's where this. This is a book that was um, made from his family collection. So that's a big, deep book right there. And this one, I believe it was also here too. Um, viewer discretion is advised. It's, um, it looks, yeah, I know, human analogy and all that stuff. It does look like <laughs> Michelangelo was just laugh his butt off. But yeah, I'll just ignore that. So, sorry. So this one right here is, yeah, she she designed that point, that, that weird sculptures from the one in J-Town, the one in um, uh, the fountains in, in, in um, the, I think, it was, I think it was this one over, this is, was, oh my gosh, this one in downtown, I think where Apple was at, this one was, wow, look how strong that thing is, yeah, Past way, uh, you can imagine how much work, artwork that is. I mean, let me see. Maybe from maybe from an eye point, it's probably a bit clearer as opposed to the cameras, but you can't go near because it says do not even touch the artwork because these things is really sensitive. And this one, I think I remember this before. I think I remember this, this, this fabric before, where it's just a in City College. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the one in City College. Ugh. My God, it's been that long. You know, it's weird. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. This is the one I remember in City College. It's it's probably that. One weird looking thing right here. I know I've been saying this before, but bear with me. 
the lighting was just so bad. Now you see why this was meant for the military intelligence folks out there who were in there. Out, well, yeah, that's the one. So this is some interesting art right here. My Okabu <laughs> in canvas. It was made in 1980s, so it it looks like a boy and a cat sits basically it. So it's kind of like so you see why their people were born or close to their 90s. I mean, passing away in the 90s. That's a long time. Side, so it's like, yeah, it's where yeah. So this is pretty much the artwork to bring some awareness of what the hell's going on. Well, you can't see it because the lighting was just interrupted. But you see right here, the writing is a kanji. It would say, it would say, um, an art and life of a grandmaster artist, Jimmy Tsutomo. Morikitani, and he passed away in 2012, which is, wow, you see a lot of these old folks who passed, who lived that long and then passing away for older, for elderly age, that's kind of, that's kind of impressive in that point. Hey, did it, President, the the president of Nintendo, well, well, grandson of Nintendo founder who passed away in the 90s, all had done, had something to do with the health and stuff. Most of them who passed away, like, who made his art, just passed away from health issues. So this one's from 1925. This one is particularly from around the time this one particularly is from the time the internment camps era is starting to come to a close and you know most of the uh, internment uh, artworks made by Japanese Americans they rather just sold it to Japanese American museums like the ones like this place right here than be sold to some know-it-all <laughs> art author who just have no interest they just want this display they don't want to share it <laughs> so it sucks so this one right here it's kind of huh, I wonder what's that about it's very um, it's freaky scary to think about <laughs> the imagery it, the, the, it's one that's more contemporary than but I think you're. I think you might saw this in J Town. So that's how oh yeah. This one particularly looks. Can if you? I think my eyes can see it better, but my camera said I don't know what the hell it is. But oh, it's um her her parental grandma. She loves doing all. Yeah. Which is very sad. Oh yeah, this is one. This is the one that was you see in the any promotion promo card. Yeah, I I, I don't know if I was in the shoes of a per, uh, one of those Japanese Americans in the camps, which kind of sucks and understandable. And. Wow, yeah.
Well, you will see some other artists and they'll say what their statements were before and why, what reasons they want to display it. So, there are, there are other artists who want to create it. There's some who would try to save the determined camp art work from being destroyed or worse. Well, that was one of the worst cases to be destroyed or worse. Uh, worse, they're being sold to some nobody. So, yeah, this is like a thank you. So, I would like to say thanks. So, anyways, so bye bye.